So what is your stance on graffiti? I think uh, people should be allowed to do graffiti. It's, it's an art. Back then it was definitely a work of art. Um, nowadays I think it's a little different. I think there's a lot more gang affiliation involved and um, I think there are a lot more people doing it to, as not a form of art but more as a way of, of uh, destroying things. It's something that it should be admired when uh, it's done, you know, in its artful way. There's, you know, there's different types of uh, graffiti. Made the trains look terrible, scrawled on the wall, and so on. When it gets out of hand, it, it just becomes um, noise. Noise on the wall, noise everywhere, especially um, when it looks destructive. What's his stance on graffiti? Uh, I believe that graffiti is an outlet for self-expression. Uh, people have been writing on walls since the beginning of time, and we're just carrying out the tradition. You know, we're leaving our mark. What's your stance on graffiti? I have no stance on graffiti. Why? Because I personally do not care at all for any of that. It's, you gotta express yourself, do it. Just do what you gotta do. First might get your Most stuff. Most brothers like the call of the gift. Hey, yo, like, most brothers like the call of the gift. Yeah. My mind compliance like the science analyzed data, not a freedom. Graffiti is freedom. You know, that's what graffiti is to me, pure freedom. There's definitely a rush. You're in there, you're sneaking in, you're, you're with your homeboys. There's like this feeling, you know, you hear the trains, the motor kind of clicking on and off, you hear the tracks change. There's all these elements that add to the whole mystique of that's in a way, you know, you can't even really describe that to people now. If I'm upset or I have pain or raging me, I'll just go out and just destroy shit. For me, writing was a release. It was an escape from, you know, my parents bitching and complaining in the house. It was an escape from my blog. I started writing to, to get away from all that, to assume another identity, to have a good time with my boys, to be down with, like, you know, some rebellious shit. You stay anonymous with who you are. And that's the whole point of it. Being like the wind, you know, you can't see him, but you can feel it. You could have this sort of anonymous thing about it where you could like have one kind of you portray yourself as one thing and then like change into my other costume and I'm this other guy. Superhero. Right is somebody who picks up a can and goes out and writes in the street illegally. They do what they want to do. When they want to do it. And they, and they do it gracefully and they do it with style. Graffiti writers are the most resourceful people in the world. I guess like most indigenous people, they made the best of what was around them. That same creative nature will help them find the way. The desire is there. People want to paint. They're not going to stop it completely. How are you going to pay for freedom, bro? You don't pay for freedom, you take it. My name is famous, but